these. These are the speculative tools. Uh, one is speculative because there are very few of them around. In other words, this particular survey is square. From Roman times, we have all of two of them. Two specifically that have been found dating to the second and third century CE. This one is modeled as exactly as possible after one that unfortunately um, during World War II was destroyed in a museum in Koblenz, Germany. Uh, so this may be the closest anybody living um, has ever seen um, this particular tool um, in reality. Oftentimes, in addition to the fact that we have a coincident measurement based off of the different sizes of slits, oftentimes they hung either hairs or strings to fine-tune siding through each slit. At that level, using a fine-tuned sight, you can get this to far more accurate than a simple diopteric uh, or a corobates, uh, and certainly beyond the capability of the gorilla. Then there's this little guy. A lot's been talked about about this one. This right here is the Roman dodecahedron. This frame is speculative, true, because the dodecahedrons do have multiple different holes. Their holes are set up same size oppositely and can be used as a coincident measure as well, just like the surveying square. Other thoughts that people have had on these have ranged from a knitting tool which for the expense of manufacture of casting an openwork item in bronze becomes a bit of an issue to a detector for uh, coinage, true and false coinage, which would be a potential possibility, but true coinage and false coinage might work to show what size we're dealing with except many of these, and over 80 of them have been found, uh, don't have the same size holes. In fact, some of them don't have holes at all, which also deals with the knitting issue. What is most likely is coincident measure, but beyond that, there's also the possibility that this coincident measure was used to do nocturnal navigation by sighting in and coincident measuring uh, constellations, and a number of them were found with wax in the bottom, so it's possible that they were put, a candle was put into them in hopes of either A, shedding light on nearby objects, creating a, a room worth of coincident measures, or, as I was considering, the possibility of a candle through here and placed on the ground allowed you to go ahead and tell which direction is up. Candle flame wants to go up naturally, it's going to be providing you a vertical line. And a vertical line may not sound important until you realize that most of these were found in the mountainous regions in Lower Germania. And those mountainous regions, if you cannot find a horizon line, you're going to have a real problem. And with mountains, you don't have a horizon line to find. So if you can find a vertical, a true vertical, you can then iterate a perpendicular horizontal, a horizon line, a virtual horizon, which allows you to go ahead and start calculating where you are and where you need to go. Because otherwise you end up with some very weird effects of thinking you're going down when you're going up. 